Now, this might seem like a boring part of the unit, or maybe you're like, oh, this is easy, so you like it. I don't know. But I think it's important that we reflect and think back on this unit and what you've learned in terms of some of the lessons and themes, not just the reading um, lessons you might have, the reading things you might have learned. So the same question you thought about at the beginning, why do laws evolve or change? Why do laws continue to evolve or change? Notice I do want you to write three sentences this time or more. You should have more details and more examples than when you answered at the beginning of the unit. So take a look or at the list of stories you've read. It can, hopefully will give you some ideas. And again, it's not just asking, why do we have laws? Because that's an important question too. We have laws to keep us safe. We have laws so people hopefully don't do bad things. But why do they change? The same laws aren't in place as they were 300 years ago. Some are, but some have changed. We've added new laws. We've changed the ones we have. We've even changed the Constitution, which is the founding document of our country. Why did we do that? Why do people care so much that we change the laws that are in place in this country? Okay, that's what you're thinking about. Not just why do we have laws? Because that's great. Yes, laws are important, but why do they need to change? The code word for this one is things. It's the last word of this unit. Well, this week and this unit. So things with an exclamation point, because I think it, it matters. This phrase is an important one. All right, you can do it. Give me the best three sentences or more you can answering this question.